Facebook, there's a few challenges here, and they have not released any real details on this. So all we have is a, a vague statement that says back in 2019, there was an incident, a, a bug in their API that allowed one vendor to be able to get in there and be able to scrape data out. And actually, I don't think it was a vendor. I think it was an external organization that was or an entity that was able to get in and do this. Uh, and they were able to do things like pull public information from millions of profiles And they were able to use the password reset mechanism to be able to figure out people's phone numbers through the password reset system. So there were a few different things that happened that went to creating this huge database. Now, Facebook knew about it. They patched the flaw and even made a mention of it back in 2019 saying, oh, yeah, you know, we found this little problem. We patched it. No big deal. No bigs. Don't worry about it. Uh, They didn't do any notification. And then here we are in 2021 where that database of information that was harvested has been posted publicly online where anybody can get at it. And now people are looking back at that 2019 announcement and saying, wait a minute, you said this wasn't a big deal, but here's all the data. What's up with that? Well, that's, you know, obviously a security issue. We talk about those on the show all the time. But this one has some bigger ramifications. In 2018, GDPR took effect, right? So those are the privacy regulations that are a part of the EU. And, the, and, and Facebook is wrapped up on that because they store data on EU citizens. And you know there's that, that kind of data inside of this data dump that's happened. And according to the, the GDPR, you have to do a notification of a breach within 72 hours. And you need to notify the people that were affected. Well, Facebook's had two years now, and they haven't notified even the privacy regulators. Uh, and, and they've said they don't intend to notify the users because they think this information is non-sensitive and public and and that's it. So I feel like the EU has just been waiting for an opportunity to wall up Facebook with a record-setting fine, and this is setting us up for it. This is going to be a billions upon billions of dollars. Like they, they I, I built it, the penalty for, I did for the Facebook. Math. I think it's going to be right around four billion dollars. Because it was it was twenty million dollars or four percent of, of your, your revenue, revenue, whichever is greater yearly. Yeah, 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 whichever is greater. And what and I saw be about was four billion. They were like eighty six something billion dollars a year revenue from what I could find. And then, you know, you do the math on that and it yeah. rolls around right around four bill. Although, honestly, if you hit them with a four billion dollar fine, they just pay it. Yeah, and they go just on. keep going. Yeah. yeah, they're like, do you want cash? Or? I mean, who, <laughs> gets, who gets that money is the question. Uh, who gets the four billion dollars and then what do they get to use it? for? Oh, the EU regulators. Oh, it's they, just like in the U.S. Stick it in their pocket and yeah. go home, like man. <laughs> so that, that happens here in the U.S. all the time, awesome. right? So like when there's a monopoly suit, like when when Microsoft had to pay that fine uh, for the monopoly lawsuits back in the '90s, yeah, uh, you know they, they ended up having to pay. It was a few hundred million, okay. if I recall correctly, and that didn't go to the competitors they quashed, right? right. It didn't go to Novell it just or goes whoever to the else. Government. It well, goes to the government, yeah. Yeah, and, they, and and their uh, their team meeting next year was in Acapulco. <laughs> the, uh, the regulators they had a nice nice time. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.